welcome to Escape the Box Piano. This is Dan here. In this tutorial we're going to look at some Enigma. For me, The Cross of Changes was one of the great ambient albums from the 90s. And there are three real standout tracks for me. The first was The Return to Innocence, that's the one everybody knows and loves, it got all the radio play. The second for me was Out of the Deep, or Out from the Deep. It was just a great tune in my opinion. And then the third was what we're going to do in this tutorial, which is The Dream of the Dolphin. It's a real short piece, it's less than three minutes in total. It's just got a really lovely keyboard flowing melody. Let's dive straight in. Here's middle C. We don't go higher than A uh, in the right hand in this piece, above middle C. Um, I've got the camera positions so that we can see all of the keyboard down here because eventually we will go right down to the very low C sharp in this piece. And it's in the key of E major. And the piece is really just a single 8 bar phrase that repeats itself. Um, there's a couple of subtle changes um, each time. The first time it plays um, is slightly harmonically different to the second and third time. Um, the second and third time harmonically is the same, and there's just a slight tweak to the melody. Uh, then there's kind of um, a bridge section in the middle, which is just a couple of chords that repeat themselves for a few measures. And then finally the main phrase comes back for one final pass. Let's take a look at the right hand. So from middle C, we're going to start on C, D, E, F, G. We're actually going to start on G sharp. And we're going to play that with our fourth finger. We're going to then go down to B with our thumb, E with our second finger, and then A with our fifth finger. Back down to the B, up to the E, and we'll return to the G sharp with our fourth finger. Then F sharp, back down to the B, and then C sharp and D sharp. If I play that section through it looks like this. Moving on, we move to the E with our fourth finger, and then a G sharp with our thumb, and C sharp and then D sharp, then G sharp and then C sharp, then A, B, C sharp, back to the B. So if I play those two measures, it looks like this. Moving on, fifth finger on the E, then G sharp, and then B, F sharp, G sharp, E, D sharp, F sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp. If I put those two measures together, Moving on, E, G sharp, C, D sharp, E, C sharp, E, A, B, C, B, 
B, C sharp B. And uh, if I put those two measures together, and that brings us to the end of the first phrase. Looking at the same first phrase in the left hand, here's middle C. We're going to start with our thumb on the E below that, and our fifth finger on the E, the octave below that. Hold that down for four counts. One, two, three, four. We then move down to the D sharps, D sharp here and D sharp here, and we play them one after the other. First of all, the low D sharp, and hold that down whilst you then play the higher D sharp. Hold that down for the full four counts of the measure. We then move to the C sharp, play them both together. Hold that down for two and a half counts, and then you play the high C sharp again, and then you play the low C sharp. Now we move down to A and A. We play them one after the other, first the low, then the high, holding down the low at the same time. Hold that down for the four counts of the measure. Right, now we go all the way down, G, F, E, and the low E. So a really thick, low sound here. Hold that down for uh, one, two, two and a half counts, one, two and a half, and then Hold down the bottom one and replay the top E. Okay, going right down to the low D sharps now. And again, one after the other. All the way down, this is the lowest we're gonna to go to the C sharps. Play those together. After two and a half counts, you're gonna replay the top one. And now we'll come back up to the A and the A. Again, they get played one after the other. If we play the left hand through those full eight measures, one, two, three, four. Let's look at both hands together now and see how they lock. Moving on to the right hand second phrase, this is going to be very similar. G sharp, B, E, A. And then simply B and G sharp. F sharp, B. C sharp, D sharp. E, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp. G sharp E, A, B, C, B, E, 
G sharp, B, F sharp. G sharp, B, E. E again. F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp. E, octave below E, A, B. D sharp, B. E, G sharp, B, F sharp. G sharp. E, B. G sharp, B. And that takes us to the end of the second phrase. Looking at the left hand of the second phrase, here's middle C, so we are again starting on the E and the octave E below that. And then replay the top E. Move down to the D sharps, play them one after the other. Down to the C sharp, so no change so far from the first phrase, play them together. Again, play the top C sharp. Moving down to the A and the A, one after the other. This is where it gets a little different now. Instead of going all the way down to E, we're only going to go from A to the G sharps. Play those together. Play, replay the top G sharp. Move down to the F sharps, play them one after the other. Go back up to the Bs, play them together, and then replay the top B. And now we travel all the way down to the low Es, play them together, and then replay the top E, replay it again, take your hand off, move up one octave, play the E up here. And that brings us to the end of the second phrase in the left hand. Let's put the second phrase hands together. And that's the end of the second phrase. Okay, third phrase. This is very similar to the second phrase. There's a couple of tweaks in the right hand, so watch out for them. Let's go through this. So starting on the G sharp, B, E, A. B, E, G sharp. And then down to the F immediately. That's F sharp. And then B, C sharp, D sharp, and then back to B. G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, E, A, B, C sharp, B, E, G sharp, B, F sharp, G sharp, B, E, replay the E again. F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp.
F sharp at the top, F sharp at the bottom, A, B, D sharp, B, E, G sharp, B, F sharp, G sharp, E, G sharp, B, again, G sharp, B, and then hold down E for four counts. One, two, three, four. Looking at the left hand, that's going to be pretty much identical to the left hand of the second phrase. So, uh, middle C, E, hold that down for four counts. One, two, three, four. D sharps. C sharps. Replaying the top C sharp. A's. G sharps, replay the top G sharp, F sharps, one after the other, up to the B's, replay the top B, B, and then down to the low E, and we're going to hold that down for effectively three measures, so three lots of four counts, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That gets us to the end of the third phrase. Let's play the third phrase hands together. There's now uh, an ambient middle section. If you want to play along to this, you can. It's simply alternating chords of A major and E major. Let's look at that hands together. Here's middle C. We're going to play um, uh, an A major chord that looks like this. We're going to have in the right hand E at the bottom, then A, then C sharp, and then E. And we're going to support that with octave A's in the bass. And you're going to hold that down for two measures, so two lots of four counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. We're then going to move to a chord of E major. Not much happens in the right hand. You're going to keep the E's there. And instead of playing the A and the C sharp, you're going to move that to a G sharp and a B. And meanwhile, you'll have moved from the A in the bass here through to the E in the bass here. And you're going to hold that down for two measures. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. That repeats. And it repeats one more time. The tempo is a little bit stretched on the record, but I reckon on the E chord there's effectively about another measure on the end. So you're going to hold the A chord down for two measures. And then the E chord for three measures, roughly, thereabouts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. You then go back into the main phrase, and this is the third version of the phrase, which we've already learnt, so I'll play that straight through.
then re repeat that measure one more time in the right hand, all the while holding down the chord in the uh, left hand. So E, G sharp B, and then G sharp B again, and then simply play the E, and that gets held uh, to fade, uh, which is three, four measures. So just count one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, as long as you like, uh, or until you can't hear it anymore on the piano, and you're done. Record speed for this piece is 105 beats per minute, sounds like this. Etc. And if you have got a sustain pedal, that really helps uh, add to the flow of the piece. Let's have a listen all the way through. So there you have it, that's the dream of the dolphin. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for more great tutorials. The sheet music, if you're that way inclined, is now on my Patreon page. The link is in the description. I look forward to seeing you again soon.